Hi guys, hope you're right. I'm here today with a corset waist training. I have been hearing about this waist training everywhere and I decided to give it a try because after having kids I worked out I worked my butt out, you know, and I lost a lot of weight, but still I was not getting the figure I used to have, so I decided to waist train. I did my research, so if you want to do it, you better do your research and know more about it. But I'm gonna tell you guys what my experience is about it so i got a steel bone corset this is a steel bone corset you know a fashion corset if you want to waist train you get a steel bone corset and what is waist training waist training is where you wear this corset for hours every day and for a long period of time to be able to have that hourglass figure my experience with it like it works you know because i've been seeing people's reviews about this corset when I decided to try it so I started six weeks ago and I've lost two inches so far I started with a 29 inches waist now my waist is 27 inches it really works I work out like two times a week I do more of core workouts abdominal workout just to make sure my core stays strong so my core won't depend on the corset even if it's not even if I'm not putting it on you know what I did was that I bought a corset size 22. I don't intend to get a size 22 waist. I intend to get like 25, but I got a size 22 inches waist corset. If you want to get a corset and you, for instance, your waist size is 32, you have to go down to a size 26 inches corset or something. Just go down to four to six inches smaller corset. That is what you should get for your waist because you're training your waist to towards that number so you don't have to get exactly your size so so far so good it's been good i wear it in the morning 10 a.m after breakfast and i take it off let's say by six or seven in the evening every day i don't sleep with it if you sleep with it and it works for you fine i don't know it doesn't really work for me the day i tried it out I, I i couldn't sleep <laughs> I couldn't just sleep with it and I don't really recommend anybody to sleep with it but if it works for you fine you know we are all different I'm only sharing my own ideas so I don't sleep with it and if you're doing a corset training you have to take it slow take it easy don't rush it okay you're gonna get the result at the end of the day but just take it slow at my first week I wore it two hours every day wear it two hours every day that is called seasoning you season your corset to get used to your body and for your body to get used to it and also it doesn't get rid of fat you just have to work out to get rid of fat that's just the ugly truth guys <laughs> if you have fat around your abdominal area just make sure you work out to get rid of the fat corset is not going to get rid of any fat it's just going to shape in your body to have that hourglass figure you know i got mine from corset story Yes, I got it for 50 pounds and it's really been working fine for me. I'm going to show you guys how I list my corset. And guys, you know, corset training works faster if and if only you eat clean and work out regularly. It's, you're going to see the result like so fast, you know. And I, for some reason, I don't wear my corset on my skin directly. I don't know why. I just do it like that. I put it on some. I put on something like this before putting on my corset. I'm used to it, and still I get my results. So, so this is my waist now. This is the side view, the back, and the other side. So I'm gonna show you guys how I lace my corset now. So when you get the corset, you make sure that the lace is properly loose so that it will be easier for you to lace yourself once you put it on you check if the back is covered it needs to be covered especially if you're putting it on a bare skin you just have to make sure that you're protecting your skin so I like to start from the top but sometimes it's difficult especially when it's your first time so just take your time you will get used to it and guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll update you guys 
on how I'm going with my corset training so please subscribe so you know more about about it so after that you just put it on properly you make sure that it's seated properly where it should sit and check at the back to make sure that it's well protected before you start cinching then you start cinching you pull them up you pull the lace together from the top but make sure you don't put it too tight make sure you're comfortable the way you're doing it like now i'm very comfortable the way i'm doing it i'm going to cinch it to an extent that i'll feel comfortable and i'll be able to braid make sure you cinch in to an extent that you're comfortable don't overdo it so you just make sure that everything is in place you take your time don't rush take your time so you can lace it properly it's sometimes difficult doing it alone if you have someone to help you that will be perfect but I have no one to help me so I'm just doing it on my own so that's it guys I don't tie it to the front I make sure I tie it at the back in and in such a way that it will be easier for me to loosen in case of anything you just have to make sure that you tie it in a way that it will be easier for you to untie yeah that's how I do it so thank you guys for watching so much please subscribe to my channel if you have any question please leave it in the comment box below and I'll get back to you don't forget to like my video thanks and bye